did you and how did they find that they loved it oh yeah. my gosh they loved it. i loved it i was so nervous like naturally at the beginning i was like oh my gosh are they going to receive this but yeah it was it was fun it's music yeah definitely so, definitely yeah. so you was kind of teaching them yeah we just had a singing workshop and yeah just got them to sing and then gave them some pointers and we sang together and yeah it was a vibe so like as in doing that did you not do like a, a end of session show or anything like that no so it was like a one-off drop-in session oh okay okay um, okay when i was in addis ababa yeah um, yeah that wow was that sounded exciting <laughs> it really was i feel really honored to have had the opportunity to, to do that and big up and um, my sister and becky for making it all happen <laughs> <laughs> no but it's good that you're able to do that do you know what i mean like fly out of the country and do whatever you're doing still in, still within the love with music but also with your family so yeah you're doing two things at one time. Yeah, it's true. And then we there came was a back. Lot going on at one time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and then you came back to sunny, cold England. Yeah. Where lockdown and then just lockdown. kicked in. Okay. <laughs> well, I prayed about finding myself on a deeper level, so here's another opportunity to to do that. It was difficult though because yeah. I had um had all of these plans to finish off my EP and get into back in the studio and yeah. like release it that summer and it just yeah, went every, sideways for everyone was a halt. so so because <laughs> <laughs> i asked this question to many artists so um within the lockdown period mm -hmm. would you say that for you everything stopped completely or you found a different side of your creativity or it enhanced whatever you was trying to do in the first place musically i definitely um started to rely on myself more in yeah. terms of music because i would i tended to like collaborate with other people so like i would go to the studio or work with musicians but i was like literally this i had me <laughs> so i picked up the drum and would like write different types of things it was i had a quite a fun time especially in the first three weeks or so <laughs> i was just allowing what was to come through to just come mm. through so no would you say you wrote many a songs at that I wrote time? quite a few songs, more than I probably had ever done in such a short space of time for a while. Yeah, so your creativity was still coming out, it was yeah, still there. Yeah, I was inspired. <laughs> so, I was inspired, not, not thinking about all of the things that I need to do. Yeah, 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 because you know what, yeah? One time, years ago, I went to Jamaica because my mum <laughs> had an accident out there and um, I was out there for about two weeks and I came back and when I came back, like, my body was so relaxed, I realised that the UK was actually a rat race. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It took me about a month to get back up to speed of where I left off. Do you know what I mean? I, I, like, uh, so when you're saying that, I can relate to it. Do you know what I mean? When because there's no fun, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know who I am anymore. Like, I really, oh, today was all right. Yeah. It's 12 degrees, I said going out <laughs> like like how you say that yeah because remember i was saying i was i was watching the first interview mm -hmm. so you mentioned sun just there mm -hmm. so for the new listeners uh -huh. tell them what your name to shy makita means and they can understand where the sun kind of yeah so my my name is 